Hello everybody, uh, welcome to the channel. This is my very first video I'm posting on YouTube, um, but as uh, many of you watching this video um, have an interest in the new Christensen Arms FFT, I've yet to find a, um, a video out there that shows the ins and outs and the new details of uh, the FFT, or Ridgeline FFT, um, other than what's been shown from SHOT Show. So, uh, without further ado, I'll do a quick unboxing here to show you what uh, what we have. I was pretty surprised to uh, to see how many different aspects of this rifle were changed um, with the new FFT configuration. It's really not that different from the standard ridgeline that was offered uh, but uh, I was surprised to see some little details of which I'll go over here in a little bit um, but they did change so standard Christensen boxing and materials um, your rifle your little accessories box that you get with it <clears throat> sorry I'm trying to do this one-handed I'll admit I'm a rookie this is my first one so bear with me So, what we have here is the Christensen Arms Ridgeline FFT in 3006. I've always been a big uh, advocate for 30 caliber rifles, um, 308, 306, 300 win mag. I feel like the 3006 is not great at anything, but good at everything. And uh, my primarily uh, primary use for using this rifle is uh, hunting in Pennsylvania. So. Um, not necessarily super long shots, but um, the 3006 will get the job done. Uh, so I'll go over some key features here. Let me uh, set this up and get the box out of the way. <clears throat> All right, I'll turn this light back on. So some of the cool things that I realized with this is not only the uh, the texture and the feel of the stock, um, it kind of has like a grippy a grippy feel to it um, versus the regular uh, Ridgeline stock that just had that standard synthetic stock feel. But the carbon fiber and the the uh, little um, overlays uh, that they put on this stock make it have a really good feel. Um, it's it's really weird. It almost feels like um, like graphite, it almost feels really, really chimpy, chintzy and cheap in a way, but um, it's very, very rigid um, and still uh, still has a good feel to it. I like I like the feel of the grip uh, that this stock has on it. Um, I was surprised to see. I'll go over some of the, the key things that they changed to um, to lighten up this rifle overall, uh, which was I, I was surprised to see is uh, so you still have the skeletonized bolt handle, but the new bolt knob. If you can see here is also carbon fiber, which is kind of cool. And, and it is uh, overall larger diameter than the standard uh, Ridgeline bolt knob. Uh, I've always purchased the tactical bolt knob to put on my uh, previous Christensen Arms rifles, uh, but you don't need to do that now. The, the bolt knob that's uh, included with this FFT is larger in, in diameter. Another key feature here that they changed to lighten up the weight is now you have a carbon fiber floor plate, which is kind of cool. So I guess we'll see how that holds up over time with the, um, the abuse and everything else that, uh, this rifle may see in the, in the woods. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll see. So overall, those are the, the key main differences between the, uh, regular Ridgeline and the FFT. You have the carbon fiber stock, carbon fiber, fiber bolt knob, carbon fiber floor plate. And the other thing is that they actually included is a baffled muzzle brake. Uh, so the aftermarket baffled muzzle brake that you get uh, from Christensen Arms used to have uh, like three Allen screws uh, on top. Uh, but the one that comes with the, um, the Ridgeline FFT does not. It's just the side baffle. So <clears throat> overall, I think this is a great looking rifle. Um, I did weigh it, spoiler alert, I, the, the 
gun dealer that I purchased this from, um, had to take it out of the box just to get the serial numbers and everything marked down. Um, it did weigh in at exactly five and a half pounds. Uh, the one thing that I was actually surprised with is I was under the assumption on the website, it said 22 inch barrel. I thought it was a 22 inch barrel without the muzzle brake. And then the muzzle brake would add another about two inches, giving me a total of 24 inches. Um, but surprisingly, this barrel is 22 inches, including, let's see if I can get the tape measure going here. 22 inches, including, well, it's actually a little bit shorter. So about 21, if you go to the front of the receiver, if the barrel, the barrel technically uh, sticks into the receiver, receiver when it's seated, but uh, it comes in at 22 inches overall length, which is, if you're okay with a shoot, uh, super short rifle going through the woods and you don't need anything, you know, super long, um, this will do the trick. It's a good um, woods and brush uh, configuration, I guess, in my mind. But, um, you know, for all of you that reload and worry about ballistics and things like that, uh, you may be concerned with the overall length of the barrel um, when it comes to those aspects of, of uh, shooting. So we'll see how it performs. Um, I will show you a quick comparison of, um, of this rifle compared to the um, full-length standard Christensen Arms uh, Ridgeline. Um, I'll put it side by side here. So, And the full-length standard I have is in a 300 Win Mag. So give me a second and I'll put this, uh, I'll put this next to each other. So, this is the Christensen Arms Ridgeline FFT. This is the standard Ridgeline. Um, it was a Cabela's special. I've had um, three other different versions of this particular rifle and a 300 Win Mag. Uh, I just like the color configuration of the green stock and the uh, the stainless highlights on the uh, receiver and the, uh, the muzzle brake. But um, I think this rifle from factory comes in at 6.5 pounds, and I have the Leopold Vary X5 on top, so... Still overall a very light rifle. Um, in the longer configuration, I believe it was a 24 inch barrel. And then that 24 inches did not include the muzzle brake. So overall 26 inches in length versus the 22 inch overall length in the FFT. So six and a half pounds standard plus scope, five and a half pounds standard basic rifle configuration without a scope for now, but I'll still put a Leopold backcountry rings and a I have a Leopold Barry X3 HD going on this. So it'll still be an overall super light rifle. Um, but yeah, so those are the key things that I uh, I, I uh, wanted to point out for those looking to get an FFT. Um, if you have any questions, just put them in the comments. And I look forward to, uh, to showing you more reviews.